right here i have four projects open use models which we have used in the past greeter api french greeter and english greeter the use models model will be the final consumer of the service we create use models for now is just as it has been in the past it requires models it needs and makes use of packages from those models. The Greta API model is where we will define our service interface. We will then export the package. Let's create the interface. It will contain one abstract method called greet that accepts a string and returns a string. We create a model info file and then export the package. This is to enable other models to have access to this interface. So just like before, we will create a modular jar from this project. This jar will be needed in models that require this model. We can have multiple implementations of a service. That is the idea. Now they can all be discovered and loaded at runtime. In our example, we will just have two models that have implementation of this service. Now it is possible these models in the real world could have different packages and all that. But what we are focusing on is the section of the models that implement the service. Now, the two models, French Greeter and English Greeter, will implement the service and provide them to anyone that requires it. In the French Greeter, we create a class to implement the Greeter interface from the Greeter API. We create our package. We create the implementing class. We name it French Greeter. Of course, we make this modular so that we can require our Greeter.API model. Now we add the jar file to clear some of the errors so that they're all in the same path. Now, let's implement the greater interface in our class. It simply gets a string and returns bonjour concatenated with the string. You can even see that IntelliJ recognizes that this class provides a service. Now, the real section that proves that this provides a service is here in the module info. Let's explain what was written. Now, the provides greeter with French greeter is where the service operation is defined. What this says is that the current model provides an implementation of the greeter interface which in this context is the service now it provides the implementation of that service with the concrete implementation french greeter so anyone who needs an implementation of greeter this model can provide a version french greeter the provides with syntax is used to specify that the current model offers a specific implementation for the given service. That is the interface. In this case, Greta is the service being implemented. And French Greta is the implementation provided by the current model. We repeat a similar process in the English Greta. We get out a package, create a class to implement it, 
we get our model info file set the requirements we include the Krita API jar and uh, just to take a note in former lessons I remember I added a jar as a library in the options now I am adding it as a jar there isn't any much difference the major difference between these options is add library allows you to add multiple jar files together while add jar only adds a single file so in our situation using either of them doesn't have any difference so let's implement the interface our implementation is similar to the french greater only that we say hello instead of function Now we generate jar files of both French Creator and English Creator. In our consumer model, use models model, we encode these three jars. And in our model info, we require the Greta API. This is going to enable us to have access to the interface. But if you look below, we have the uses statement. Now that line declares that use models uses the Greta service. Remember that the Greta service is the interface. The uses keyword is part of the java service provider interface that mechanism allows you to discover and load service implementations at runtime by declaring the uses directive the model expresses its intent to use the greater service now the java service provider interface we look for implementations provided by other modules in the module path. Now let's go ahead to our main class and use the service loader class. Now this line creates a service loader instance for the greater interface. The returned service loader instance can be used to iterate over all available implementations of the greater interface. So it will check for all available implementations and you will be able to loop over that. In our case, we have two models that provide the greater service. The code snippet will find and load those implementations at runtime. And according to our code, it will call the greet method on each of them and print the greeting message to the console. When we run the code, oops, we see a resolution error. This is because when I was creating the jar for the English and French creators, I actually included the jar of the greater API in them. This will cause both of them to have the package located in the greater API. So what I should have done is create a jar file without their dependencies. Now I'll go there and remove the greater API jar when I am generating the jar. So of course it updates the generated jar and we can rerun our program. It works just fine. We see hello Java and bonjour Java outputs. So remember, this service loader is designed to discover and load service implementations without the need to declare a direct dependency using requires on the models providing these implementations. 
you notice that we didn't have to require the French and English greeter. So this approach promotes loose coupling between models. So it enables you to use different implementations without changing the code that consumes the service. So even though the models providing the service implementations are not specified as required, as long as they are in the model path and declare a service implementation using the provides with syntax, the service loader will be able to find and access the service implementations. So concerning services, this is how it operates. So far, we have gone across some basics in Java models. You can read more about them, practice, and dive deeper if you want to go deeper in Java models. And I hope you enjoyed this course. Hey, have you enjoyed the lesson so far? At Lemobit Academy, we are committed to providing you with the best educational resources to help you achieve your goals. Now, with your support, we can continue to create even more valuable content. By giving just a small super thanks under our videos, you can play a crucial role in keeping our courses free for everyone. Now, this is a simple action from you, but it is very powerful in showing your appreciation and helping us create more quality education. Now, our goal is to make more free content and we will keep doing that. But with the super tanks, you help us make more super content. Thank you.